Well, buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks will no longer be a saying at baseball and softball games in Lake Arthur. More than a saying. I thought you were going to sing it for a Not second tonight. there. Not tonight. Okay. Well, hey, <laughs> the town is instituting a new rule asking fans to leave snacks with shells at home. Mike Carter checks on how that new policy is working out. There's just something about peanuts at a ball game that's as American as apple pie. Won't be needing this anymore. All right, Billy, let's go, Billy, come on. Let's get two, let's turn two now. Come on, good eye, good eye. There we go. Hey! And he won't be needing these anymore at baseball and softball games in Lake Arthur. Check out the signs. We've been spending a lot of time and money to fix up our facility and make it beautiful. Lake Arthur officials decided about a year and a half ago to pour tens of thousands of dollars into upgrading the Dickey Chapman Sports Complex. Well, this is this is a new improvement we just put in this year. Uh, we already had the playground, but we put in the new turf underneath it. That turf and the cement underneath it cost about $18,000 to install. The turf is a lot of reasons why we're eliminating the the shelled products. Snacks with shells like sunflower seeds, peanuts, pistachio nuts, any kind of shelled products. Over the years, shells from ball players and fans have clogged the sports complex's field drainage system, a system that will need to be replaced this summer for a price tag between ten and fifteen thousand dollars. And it takes away from the, the hard work that a lot of people are putting in to doing this for our town. The town says it's asking schools with players competing on the fields to follow the policy as well. And what do those players have to say about the new rule? Might start to and go. You never know. In Lake Arthur, Mike Carter, KATC TV3. Still root, root, root for the home team. There you She's go, going Jim. to join me and then she said no. <laughs>